No pun intended, but Jesus Christ, we have had to wait a long time for this one to be announced. Gabriel Jesus is officially an Arsenal player after what feels like a whole four months of waiting. We knew it was done like two weeks ago. He arrived at the Emirates like a week ago. Everything was done, but they finally decided to announce it this Monday morning. So this is what the Arsenal website had to say about um, Gabriel Jesus arriving at Arsenal. Um, Gabriel Jesus has signed for Man City on a long-term contract. The 25-year-old forward joins us having established himself as one of the leading strikers in the Premier League in recent seasons. He scored 95 goals in 236 appearances in all competitions during his five seasons in Manchester. Gabriel has won the Premier League title four times the FA Cup and the League Cup three times. That, that, that is a lot of trophies. That is a, a lot of trophies, by the way. Uh, that is way more than we can dream of at the moment. He is a regular in Brazil national team, making 56 appearances and scoring 19 times since making his full international debut for his country in September 2016. He was, um, he was a member of the squad which won the Copa America in 2019. During his international career, Gabriel also notably won a gold medal at the 2016 Rio Olympics um, Games and featured at the 2018 FIFA World Cup. So being 25 years old, he has a lot of experience behind him uh, for sure. Gabriel developed through the youth um, setup at Palmeiras, signing a youth contract in 2013 with his prolific goal scoring, ensuring he quickly progressed into the first team squad, making his debut as a 17-year-old in March 2015. During his time with Palmeiras, Gabriel was an integral part of his club's um, Brazil Serie A winning side in 2016 when he was voted as the league's uh, Bola de Ora player of the season. Um, I told you you need to be start, start learning the, the Portuguese anyway because most of our players will be from Portugal and Brazil. Technical director Edu said we are delighted that we have secured the, the transfer of Gabriel. Everyone who knows football well knows the qualities of Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel is a player who have, 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 who have we have admired for a long time now. He is 25 years old and an established Brazil international who has consistently demonstrated that he is a player at a very high level. We look forward to seeing him join up with his teammates ahead of the new season. We all welcome Gabriel to Arsenal. Mikel Ateta added, I'm very excited the club has done a tremendous job to recruit a player of this stature. I know Gabriel personally very well and we all know him well from his time in the Premier League and being really successful here. This is a position that's been on our radar for a long time now, and we have managed to get a player that we all wanted. So I'm really happy. Gabriel will wear the number nine shirt and will join up with the Ghana squad for preseason training soon. Everyone at Arsenal welcomes Gabriel to the club. This transfer is subject to completion. So, first of all, Gabriel, Gabriel Martinelli, and all that, we need to be calling this guy Jesus. We need to be calling Gabriel, the defender Gabriel, and we need to call Martinelli, either Martinelli or Gabi. That, that, that's easier to understand because if all three of them are on the pitch at the same time, we'll have a lot of trouble um, deciding who to call who. But hey, Gabriel Jesus is finally an Arsenal player. Um, as they said, um, let, let, let's go back to the top of the article. Um, established himself with 95 goals in 236 appearances. Now, those, as I've always said, those 95 goals in 236 games, he rarely started any of those 236 games. Probably less than 100 of those games he actually started. Like, he, he always came from the bench or he played like 10 minutes or he always got subbed off or he played on the right wing sometimes. Like, as a focal point, just as a striker, I don't think he played more than 100 games as the main striker for Man City. Was, there was always someone next to him or someone playing as a striker and Jesus playing on the left or right or Jesus was coming from the bench or getting subbed off. So it's going to be really interesting to see how he does at Arsenal if he starts the game, which I expect him to do. So I think we've signed him as a main striker. Uh, I think he will be starting for us from the first game against Crystal Palace away from home. And uh, I know we still need a second striker. So let me know in the comment section, which other striker would you sign to um, help out uh, Gabriel Jesus? Would it be a, a striker who's coming to put Jesus on the bench right away? Um, someone like an Osman and those kind of players, or would you want just a backup striker, someone like a Trossard or a Puki or an Ivan Tony, those kind of guys? You remember when you signed Lacazette? Lacazette arrived at Arsenal, he was the starting striker, and then after like five months, we signed Aubameyang, and then Aubameyang had to start, and Lacazette was on the bench. Uh, at that time, we had the Europa League and everything, so they were rotating, so maybe you could see the same thing. But for me, I think they're bringing in Jesus as the main striker. I think he will be starting for us. I, I, I really hope um, to see him. Um, starting from the first game. And I can't wait to see how he does 
when he starts more than 30 games in the Premier League, when he is the main striker, when everything it goes around him. Um, I, I'd li- really, really want to see uh, what happens and how many goals he can score. Um, for me, uh, from right away, I'll say maybe 15 goals and maybe 8 to 10 assists in the first season, uh, which uh, if he does anything better than that, I'd be way, way happy. Like if he can get 20 goals fast in his first season, I think he'll get 20 in all competitions. We're just speaking about the Premier League, but if he gets like 15 goals in the Premier League and more than 8 assists in the Premier League at the same time, that would be amazing. Because uh, what Arsenal didn't mention there is that Gabriel Jesus had almost 50 assists for Man City in those 236 appearances as well. So he's a very capable player. And I just worked with him before, as they mentioned in the, in the article as well. Um, so it's not going to be hard for him to adapt to access tactics. Um, it's the, probably the same with Guardiola, near the same. So he's used to access tactics, he's used to working with the Man City. They work there not for one year, maybe two or three years there. So they definitely do understand each other. No language barrier, both can speak English, probably both can speak Spanish. Um, but step probably can speak Portuguese as well. I'm pretty sure I can speak like seven languages if I'm not wrong. So no language barrier, he can communicate with most of the players in the team, the Martinelli's and all those players, Fabio Vieira, so that is a good thing as well. He even does know English anyway, he's not, he's, new, he's not new to England. But welcome to Aston Gabriel Jesus, finally, finally, finally announced and we can start focusing on other targets. This is, this is the third transfer of the window after Marquinhos and Fabio Vieira and Matt Turner also joined us but he was signed in January. So welcome to Arsenal Gabriel Jesus. <laughs> 